In this video, I will give you my full review of a brand new line of vibraphone mallets just released by Schlagkraft. Schlagkraft is a company owned by the renowned percussion soloist Nebozja Zivkovic, and they recently released a brand new line of vibraphone mallets, which I have been eager to try out because I know that Mr. Zivkovic is extremely meticulous with the amount of care, thought, and precision that he puts into producing these mallets. In this new line, there are four models. They are the blue medium soft SV10s, the burgundy medium SV20s, the orange medium hard SV30s, and the yellow clear cut SV40s. Each model is exactly the same, save for the hardness of the heads. And the rattan shafts are about eight millimeters in diameter and 36 and a half centimeters in length from the base of the mallet to the end of the stick. They are also on the heavy side, which is something that I prefer in vibraphone mallets, and it ensures that you can get a nice warm, large sound from the instrument across the whole range. I thought it would be the most helpful for you if I demonstrate each set of mallets solo first, and then I will compare them with some others that you might already have. So I've also got David Friedman 30s, Ed Smith ELS 16, Mike Balter 49R, the Joe Locke deep tone mallets, as well as some Stefan Harris Albright mediums here. And I'll play all of them back to back so that you can easily hear how these new mallets compare. After all that, I also overdubbed some solos onto an existing track that I've made so you can hear how these mallets might sound in a recording session context as well. So let's start with the softest in this series, the Blue SV10s. Now, as you can hear, they are quite soft. These mallets would be really great for playing softer passages or if you really want to keep the vibes in the background but still get pads and the sounds of the chords. Let's move on to the next set. These are the SV20s, the burgundies. I brought these mallets to a few gigs that I played, and of the four models in this set, these were the ones that I used 90% of the time. The concert that I played was in an outdoor setting, and the vibes were actually mic'd. Uh, the band that I played with had a percussionist but no drum set, so the volume level was not quite as loud as it would be if I were playing with a hard-hitting rhythm section. That being said, I really liked these mallets a lot. They got a nice wide dynamic range. I could play soft and not lose the articulation. I could play much louder and not lose the warmth of the sound. So all in all, these would be my starting point when getting a new set of mallets from this line. Let's move on to the SV30s. These are the medium hard mallets.
So I mentioned a minute ago that I tested some of these mallets on gigs and I used the SV20s from before 90% of the time. Well, these SV30s are the ones that I use the other 10% of the time. They are obviously just a little bit harder than the SV20s and they really complemented each other well. I don't think I would show up to a gig without bringing both of these sets of mallets because in some situations you need a little bit of extra attack and uh, if the band I had played with had had a drum set player, I would have probably used these 90% of the time instead of the others. In terms of the sound, they are extremely consistent across the range of the instrument, providing that large, warm sound with a clear articulation. So if you're looking for mallets that work well for jazz, I would definitely recommend both these and the SV20s to have as a general set. They complement each other very well. So now let's go to the hardest mallets in this line. This is the clear-cut SV40s. Now obviously these mallets would be way too hard for jazz, but classical percussionists always need much harder mallets because of the types of ensembles they play in, as well as the larger rooms they tend to play in. These mallets would be fantastic for playing concertos, orchestra parts, percussion ensemble parts, you name it. Anything that requires the vibes to really cut through, I mean hence the name clear cut. It is extremely difficult to make a hard mallet that somehow still has a warm sound, but Schlagkraft has done that here. So if you are a classical musician, these mallets are probably going to be a must for your collection. Okay, so now let's hear what all these mallets sound like in a recording situation. Schlagkraft mallets are without a doubt a major new player on the vibraphone mallet landscape. They are rigorously assembled from materials that are very consistent. You won't have a wide variation in sound or feel from different sets of the same mallet. The quality of the construction is top notch, the yarn will not wear and tear, the heads will not pop off, and the rattan is well balanced from stick to stick. And they sound good. I don't think you could want anything more from a mallet. So that was my 100% honest and independent review. I hope you enjoyed it and thank you very much for watching.